Hey there, I'm Ron Hagen, and uh, we're down at the, the uh, Great American Truck Show in uh, Dallas in, uh, in August of 09. We're going to be talking with Brad Ek Ekstrom. Ekstrom of Fast Fuel Systems. Uh, he's got a product that uh, I have personally found works very well with my customers. From the jostling in the tanks and the recirculation, we get a fair amount of air in the system. That's correct. Um, if from condensation, we get a little bit of water, and from crap fuel, we get other stuff. So, yeah. the regular fuel filters, I assume, will take care of the other stuff. Um, although, the FAST system is a pair of filters. One is a wa fuel water separator, and another yes. one is a air separator. Yes. And then it also acts as, I understand, a, uh, oh, a 10 to 12 pound lift pump uh, to provide greater lubricity. Would you tell us what are we looking at right here? Is that the FAST system? Well, what we're looking at is a fuel air separation system, the FAST, and we're looking at the suction line that would be coming from the fuel tank, and then we're looking at what's coming over here. This would be the feed line going to the engine, and this would be the additional return line going back to the fuel tank. And this is actually where we're separating the air out and sending it back to the tank to where we can keep pure fuel going to the engine as they do in a test cell. If you go to Cat Cummins, Detroit, they basically have what we're doing. They have perfect fuel going to their engines, and that's what we're that's what we're, we're duplicating in a working environment. By doing so, all of our claims that we make, the engine is already capable of doing in the right conditions, and that's what the FAST is all about, is making those conditions right. This is a standard on most everybody's truck fuel filter. Yes, sir. Yes. Plain old fuel filter. What it is, you know, everyone, they do great in taking water and dirt out, but the problem with a filter is that it is a double-edged sword. The more dirt that you get out, the more air that you add. Restriction creates vapor, and that's one thing that's not, that's not apparent in the test cell conditions. Okay, now, even the camera can see the bubbles. Okay. And those bubbles that are going into your fuel system right now are going into the engine. Exactly. Most people don't think of air as being a contaminant, but there's many schools and many articles written on air being one of the worst contaminants. It is the number one uh, contaminant in the hydraulic system. The more restriction that you create on fuel, the more vapor you add. So as you're filtering dirt out, you're, you're just introducing vapor to an engine. Vapor is known for, uh, vapor and air is known for blowing injector tips off, causing galling and scoring on the barrel and plungers and sticking plungers, and it's also known for cutting injector tips off. So it reduces lubricity. Exactly. Uh, now, some of my customers have been telling me that they have found that in a real cold operations, the 10, 12 pound uh, Pressurizing of the uh, uh, fuel to the to the injection pump helps them get their engine started uh, in very very cold weather. My guys are working down to 40 below zero, and I've had very good reports from that. Have have you had any reports like that? Oh, we've been having reports like that over the years. We've had some nice reports from Chicago of our um, of a whole fleet being shut down. And uh, not a whole fleet, but a bunch of trucks being shut down, except for one, and that happened to have a fast system on it. Wow. And yeah. that just basically comes from two things. One, we have a very strong, durable lift pump, fuel pump on here. That as soon as you turn your key on, it starts pumping. And then two, we have pure fuel waiting to go into the engine. When you shut an engine off that has fuel in the line, air rises to the highest points. And that's the first thing that you have to suck through when you have that engine turned off. Okay. 